I'm Josh, and in between growing out the hair on the northern and southern hemispheres of my head, I've been taking some time to play around with this guitar pedal, the Walrus Audio Melee. Now, Melee is, first of all, one of, if not the best game in the Super Smash Bros. series, but is also a combined distortion and reverb pedal controlled by a fun little joystick. You already heard Melee on the lead guitar in the intro song that we played at the start of the video, but we'll dig a little bit deeper into exactly how it works, what it does. Before we do though, uh, just something to make clear, I did get this at a discounted price from Walrus Audio. They don't have any input or any say over what comes into this video, but I did want to make that clear. I will put a link in the description to where you can get one of these from Walrus Audio's website. It's not an affiliate link. I have some Perfect Circuit affiliate links in the description. Uh, that's a completely different thing. But if you go onto Walrus Audio's website and you get one of these, I'm not getting any kind of kickback from it, and I'm also not going to just tell you to go out and buy one. I don't think any piece of gear can be recommended to, like, every single person. We're going to talk about it, and, you know, you'll see if you like it. So, uh, let's dive in. As I mentioned, Melee is a combined distortion and reverb. You've got this little joystick that controls reverb mix on the x-axis and distortion on the y-axis. So if I put it all the way down here, <laughs> sorry, I was a little sloppy, but you can hear it's pretty clean. And then if I move it, we'll put it all the way up here. There's a lot more space. So it's a fun way of playing around with it and you can find, you know, a sweet spot that you'd like to work with. And I also find that it is fun if you bring it either all the way, the distortion all the way down and you just have a lot more reverb. and just a hint of distortion, or you can play around with the opposite, turn up the distortion all the way. And get really crunchy. There's also a little tone switch, so you can either go from your lower tones to having it be a little more balanced, or emphasizing the high tones. There's decay for setting whether you want the reverb to trail off for a very long time. Or you could set it much shorter. Or you can put it in the middle. Nice little Goldilocks setting. One of the most fun parts of this, I think, aside from, of course, you know, your fun distortion reverb mix, which we'll turn that up just a little bit, is that you can route either reverb into distortion or distortion into reverb. We've actually been listening to it with the reverb going into the distortion. And I'll switch it back. I find that the distortion going into the reverb, the um, individual notes seem a lot more uh, pronounced. Whereas when you do the reverb into the distortion, you get a lot more of, well, <laughs> so the Melee's tagline is a, it's a wall of sound. And that is really what you get with that setting. You might've noticed this LED here. Uh, it's a little blown out on the camera, sorry, but it's, uh, it's pink. And if you press these foot switches together, it switches now to yellow. Yellow is an octave down reverb. Much darker. Let's drag out the decay and bring the tone down.
And for an extra bit of fun, there's a third mode. So with the blue LED, now it's in the reverse reverb with feedback. That one is a little more, I would say, ambient, uh, and it's a little bit uh, calling back to Walrus Audio's own lore, which I got right here. The controls are a nice balance between uh, flexible and functional. I mean, obviously, you don't have a ton of in-depth control over your sound. Instead, you just kind of got, like, the stuff that you'd probably usually want to mess with. And I mean, sure, it might have been cool to have, like, a, a knob here instead of the switches, but... Truthfully, in playing around with this, I can't say that I've like found myself too disappointed with the options presented by the switch positions. That is really, it just comes down to the person. Now, a way that I love to test any kind of spatial effect is with the Tumbola sequencer on the OP-1. So we're gonna mess around with this sound. And I'll key in the notes for, let's say, in F major 7 chord, and we'll let the tombola play, and I'm just going to turn on, I've got the melee, and it's running into Walrus Audio's lore, um, not trying to do any sort of like uh, product plug, I just thought it'd be cute using the two Walrus Audio pedals together, and yeah, so I'm going to first start off the tombola. and I'm gonna turn on the pedals. You can probably see why I like testing pedals this way. It is just uh, fun, uh, sometimes chaotic. My one big gripe, I've been using this for a bit and I am not able to throw a Hadouken. Uh, I don't mean in the game, obviously, in real life. Let's make Street Fighter real. A uh, great thing to work on for the Melee 2. Melee is pretty squarely targeted towards people who want a shoegaze sound, but unlike other shoegaze artists, I don't make shoegaze music. So instead, why don't we try making some kind of horrifying soundscape using a ukulele, Melee, this bottle being sent through Walrus Audio's lore, my trusty bass guitar, which is right behind me, and the Moog Matriarch, which is right behind that.
quarter circle. Oh, I put in a lot of sound demos so that you could draw your own conclusion about how the melee sounds without having to just hear my take on it. That being said, to add in my take and also just some things I've noticed, I think that the melee sounds great. This is not what I would be reaching for if I wanted just reverb or just distortion though. The thing that this pedal does, the reverb and distortion combo, is kind of what you would want to get it for. And sure, you could get similar results with a distortion and a reverb pedal, connecting them with some kind of cable and then running your instruments through that. And it would give you more granular control over each of those effects. But I think the strength of Melee is that it balances simplicity and functionality. Like, it sounds really good. Sure, if I used a separate distortion and reverb pedal, I could get like a wider range of sound, but I also usually, I'm not gonna need the wider range of sound that the two separate pedals could give me. And at least for me, when I'm working with music gear, be it pedals or synthesizers slash groove boxes, I like to be able to work with as few units as possible to get the sound I want. So just having one box that does it, you know, it makes sense and I like that. As for things that I think are not as great about Melee, and this is really like a very nitpicky thing, I find that the joystick, it's not like a fully smooth motion. Uh, in some areas it has a little more resistance. So this means that, you know, when you're setting it to a position, it just, you have to be like really mindful of how much force you're applying. It uh, It's skillful, like a video game. But with that said, as far as that whole dreamy and aggressive sound, Melee succeeds. It does exactly that and it does it really well and it sounds great and also it is pink and I think that is cool. Pink is a very nice color. So yeah, I like it a lot. That doesn't mean it's for everyone. If you're interested in the Melee, I would suggest checking out other demos and or reviews or if you live near either a cool guitar shop that stocks Walrus Audio pedals or a cool friend who has a bunch of Walrus Audio pedals that they would let you try, I would suggest trying it out. It is, you know, it is a different sound than I'm used to from a lot of other pedals. A good sound, but definitely its own thing. I like it a lot. Thank you, Walrus Audio, for giving me a discount on it, and uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like, hitting subscribe. In my last video, when I talked about the Walrus Audio lore, I closed out by playing the sound of a walrus through it. And as much as I would love to do that again, it's kind of gauche to do the same joke more than once in a row, right? So instead, I'm going to play a snippet of audio from one of my favorite characters' taunts from Super Smash Bros. Melee. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and until then, music gear manufacturers, I'm watching out for what you're making. In other words, I'm telling you to... Show me your moves! Okay, thanks, bye.